Hey folks, Mobile Giza here with a quick unboxing of the Moto G Stylus. So let's get started. So, picked this up yesterday. This just came out. Uh, it's a real budget phone. It was only uh, $300. I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, I wasn't initially going to pick this up, although I've been fascinated by it ever since they announced it. But uh, I read a quick review from, I forget which website, and they said the uh, camera was surprisingly good so you know me i'm a camera guy so i figured for that price i might as well check it out so there's the packaging let's see what's inside Now let's see if we've got some power. We'll let it turn on while we finish the unboxing. So now we're all booted up. Of course, my apps are still copying. It's got a 6.4 inch IPS LCD display, glass front, plastic back with an aluminum frame. On the right, we have our power button, which you can set up to double tap to launch the assistant or the camera, our volume up and down. Up top we have nothing. Well, there is a mic. On the left side we have our SIM tray. On the bottom, a USB Type-C in it. And yes, a headphone jack. And we have dual speakers at the top and the bottom part of the speaker. Around back off 48 megapixel wide, a 16 megapixel ultra wide and the two megapixel macro along with a time of flight sensor. Now, of course, the big thing is the stylus. I haven't used the stylus since the Note 3, so this will be interesting for me, but nice and easy to get out. Now, it's got a little menu that comes out. I'll show you that in a minute. And when you slip it back in, it snaps back in, so hopefully it won't be falling out. And when you open it up, you get a little menu. You can do some quick scribbling from the top one. Uh, you can go to Moto Notes, you can go to Google Keep, and you can take a screenshot. Also, of course, around the back, we have our fingerprint sensor with the Motorola logo right in the middle. Now, it only comes in one color, Mystic Indigo, and of course, it is a fingerprint magnet, but I'll be getting a case, so that won't be much of an issue for me. Also, has a card slot that you can put it 128 gig SD card in. So of course I'll be doing a lot of testing with this in the next few weeks and I'm interested to try out the cameras and there seems to be some interesting functions. Also, it's been a long time since I used the stylus so we'll see if I can adjust to that. Anyway, just wanted to let you guys see that I had it. The Moto G stylus. Uh, this might be an interesting little journey for a budget price. As always, comments are welcome. Thanks for watching.